afternoon everyone, welcome to another vlog here on the World Coasters. Uh, we're here at Four Parks for Fright Nights tonight. It's me and Louise, our first time at Fright Nights. Are you excited? Oh, and uh, Louis is here as well. He's just hiding off around the corner. First, yep, yeah, he's promoting the merch. This is our first Fright Night. We did Chessington's Halloween last week and uh, not gonna lie, I'm bricking it a bit for tonight. <laughs> First time you're done it. Yeah. You're um, so, so yeah, literally, uh, we did we did Halloween last week, and this this has much scarier mazes. There's five mazes to do. It's just started raining. Uh, it's not meant to rain later on, but of course we got a uh, Free Creek Massacre, which is the new one for 2019. We've got um, Blair Witch, which opens at dusk. We got um, the AMC Walking Dead Do or Die, and we've got a uh, Living Nightmare, which is apparently quite bad. And then we've got, uh, what's the other one? Platform 15. So I'm looking forward to doing all of those. They open from three o'clock, with Blair Witch opening from six o'clock. Right, so anyway guys, we'll see you when we're in the park and uh, we get some rides out of the way. First job of the day, to activate the mugs. These are worth their weight in gold, aren't they, Lewis? Yeah, 100%. Definitely. Just seen this as we come in, uh, it's a little promotion they're doing. So if you ride the five big coasters here overnight from five till ten, scan the QRs at the exit and then you can get a free wristband. So we'll definitely be aiming to do that today. Right, so we're in the park now. Uh, it's just gone one o'clock. The rain has passed, so we had our lunch. We're going over to Rumble Rapids to start because we don't want to be on all the intense rides. Well, me and Lewis would be pleased to let our food go down. Otherwise, it'll be coming up all over you. Um, anyway, we're heading around past Step Charge at the moment so we can have a look at Containment. Containment is one of the upcharge mazes here. They charge £10 normally, but for pass holders it's £8. How much? We're going to be giving it a miss. It's just an escape room in a cargo container uh, just down here. Um, it is quite good from what I've seen and heard. Got some bright night theming with some extra large body bags. These people are very light. They're blowing around in the wind quite a bit. But it's good that they're making the effort, isn't it? A swarm going now. Louise's favourite coaster here. I do like that one. That is a good one. Okay, change of plan. First ride of the day is the Flying Fish. Louise is going to, oh Lou, you're taking me down the fast track here. It's a walk on, so good start. One of the first coasters here. Same layout as Scorpion Express at Chesterton World of Adventures. Can't film on the ride guys, as you already know, so I will see you when we get off of it. Great first ride. Always going to be good at on the uh, Mac powered flying fish, which has been here since. We had Mac for lunch. <laughs> Don't misinterpret that. Anyway, we're going around to uh, Rumble Rapids now, aren't we? And then after that, we're going to get stuck in on some of the major coasters before the mazes open. Yeah, we have to coast on the way. <laughs> uh, park levels at the moment. It's busier than a normal day for a Friday. Uh, but to be honest, it's not too bad. I'm imagining it's going to get a bit busier later though, yeah. uh, with the schools ending. This is the last Friday before the summer holidays, um, so I imagine there's going to be a few school kids coming in after school. Um, but we've got plenty of time to ride, of course, the parks over till 10 and a lot of the mazes over from free. We'd like to get everyone out of Aberdeen Alcohol the next wave hits by. So the sheriff will want to get So coming over towards Stealth, we've got some, uh, a, a school bus in place for the uh, show that's going on here, a horror in a Mitty High School. That runs apparently every like half an hour during the event. And uh, it's looking more quiet on this end of the park. The queues don't look too bad at the moment. We're looking at no longer than half an hour for rides. So they've got all the lighting in place for later. These are all over the park. From what I've seen, these, they light this park up quite well. So here's our ride, Rumble Rapids. It's better than it used to be. Right, Lewis, we're going to play a game. How long do you reckon it is before over the tunnel where there's an announcement saying to sit down? Three minutes. Okay, I'm going to go for a minute and a half. So we're going to start a timer now and see who's right. Bonus point if it's uh, inside the cave. Oh yeah, in the cave. That's a good... I don't know why. A lot of people think they're going to get soaked on the waterfall. Rumba Rapids is one of the original rides here. It used to be called Thunder Canyon. And uh, it's, a, it's a great rapids ride. We'll, uh, we'll be on it in no time. It looks like it's going to be absolutely walk on. Hey! So we've got some people that want to be in the vlog already. 
Uh, yeah, Rumble Rapids is one of those rides. It's been here for absolute years. It isn't the most intense in the world. It's actually one of the more tamer Rapids rides. You don't really get wet at all on this one, do you, though? Like? Um, but it's got all the security features they added on, like the Congo River Rapids with the doors and the centre ring now. So, can't film on this one again. I'll see you on the other side. Make sure you sit down. Two minutes, ten seconds. Oh, it's right in the middle. I said a minute and a half, so I'm 40 seconds out. You're, yeah, I won by 10 seconds. We need to say, Lewis, was it in the tunnel though? Knock on the window and ask. <laughs> From Rapids, we're heading down towards Walking Dead ride, and we just oh, noticed. No, this is I don't know what this is. This is the it's carnival. One. I told you. Oh, what's this phantom one? So, this is a Fanta horror maze. What's that, though? Apparently, it's really scary. Okay, is it open now? Should we go in it? Let's have a look. This is the sponsored by Fanta ride. So, this one is the Twisted Carnival, which is just specially for this uh, few days. And uh, yeah, this looks quite cool. It's not been listed or anything. We'll have to give that a go. 16 plus to go on this one, which I think are all the horror mazes. And that's just in front of Darren Brown's Glow's Train and in between the Walking Dead the ride. Is Louise scared? No. Oh. Not yet. They've got probably actors all over it today. We've just come off of the Walking Dead ride and obviously you have to have even numbers for that. So Lewis, Lewis got the single ride with uh, the, tiny, the uh, tiny version of One Direction, yeah? So yeah, Lewis had to go with a group of kids and sit next to one of them. Um, and we got separate. The biggest one as well. Uh, anyway, we're going over to, we're doing Nemesis Plus One there. Which, one, which coaster? Which coaster though? Pick the coaster. Shall I give you the queue times? Okay, we're we'll going to have a look at some few times and we'll work out what we're going to do. <laughs> so next ride of the day has been selected by Louise and it is Detonator. Louise isn't What's the biggest fan. Well, we'll probably do Nemesis or Swarm afterwards, but yeah, we're going to go on Detonator now. Uh, we're going to go to the refill station. What are we getting there? Go for it. Here we are in Angry Birds Land going on Detonator Bombs Away. The 2001 Fabu Fabu, oh, I can't think of the name. Well, I know the name, but I can't say it rather. Uh, 100 foot drop. Lewis's favourite drop tower. He needs to go on Falcon's Fury. Shame Europa Park doesn't have any drop towers. Louise actually calls this one boring. Um, but yeah, she wanted to go on this, and then I think afterwards it's going to be Nemesis or Swarm, depending on which one short queue. So it's probably got a bit longer than a five minute queue, probably nearer 15 minutes. Two seats on this side have got new restraints on, which is interesting to see. Maybe they'll do the whole lot over the close season. Right, so we just come off of uh, Detonator after what was that, about a 15 20 minute queue? And uh, we're going over to Swarm, which is just registering a 15 minute queue. The coast is starting to die off because I think a lot of people are starting to queue up for um, all the horror movies. We're looking forward to them. We got um, Free Creek Massacre to go on. Platform 15, oh, I've said them all already, I'm so excited to do them because they're going to be. Like, I don't think the Phantom one's open in February, what we can say. 
But yeah, we're going over to Swarm now. I'm going to have a ride on the good old B&M coaster, my second favourite roller coaster in the country. Um, this, yeah, Icon tops it. This is the second one, but you know, it's a B&M. It's got to be out there. Anyway, we'll see you when we get over to Swarm Island. So we're trying the special Dare to Drink. Um, it's a special one. They've got mixed up. Oh, it's cold. Them. Oh, it's ice cold. Um, yeah, it's got some specials. They've got a Halloween Fanta up here, which is all now, and then a Fright Night special here, which Louise is going to sample. So for those of you wondering, the uh, Fright Night special drink on these freestyle machines basically is Cherry Dr Pepper, which Louise hates. Cherry vanilla. Flying fish is down. <laughs> So we got some beaming on the marquee, some corn and uh, scarecrow as we come round onto Swarm Island. We've got a, uh, a few things hanging from the trees, little decorations. They've got a few skulls, head bags and more of the uh, body bags. These look quite cool at night. Swarm shop. Got, these are quite cool. These look. These are new Swarm T-shirts, fifteen quid. It's not badly oh, priced. This one, look at this. Oh, the ones with the like movable logo. Yeah. That's cool. They're a pain when it comes to washing. Though. They always fall out. So we've just come off of the Swarm back row, back right. That was so good. I love that it at the back. Like the action. The back because you. Blood from my head was like. Swirling. When you're on the back of that, you get pulled over that first like yeah. twist, and when you're on that side, you go up and so over. So you to going over it slowly. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, anyway, it's now 3:30, so we're going to head over to our first maze. Yay! Yeah, right. Looking forward to it. Oh, I'm very excited. Can't film in any of the mazes, guys, but uh, we'll give you a review of them without spoiling too much. Anyway. From Lewis's point of view. No, no, no. Lewis's scariest maze was Creepy Caves last week, so this is going to top it. Anyway, like I say, do or die is the closest one, unless there's any ones you want to do. Uh, so yeah, like I say, we're going to go on do or die, which is the closest one. Unless, Louise, do you have any requests for Scare No, I don't actually know the name of so, Oh, look! Oh, yeah, I was showing them earlier. Oh, so Louise has noticed that. these. I was trying to film them earlier. It's a clown head. Louise, the mazes are Freak Freak Massacre. No. Walking Dead do or die. Let's do that one. Walking Dead one. living that. Yeah, isn't that door one? Living Nightmare. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, in the light. You've got Platform 15 and Blair Witch. They're the five that we're going to be doing today, and I want to do all of them. I'm mega yeah, excited. Tully's was good. Yeah. So we're going to head over to uh, do all Guys first, get on that one. While it's light, so Lewis doesn't quite poop himself. This is what you were looking forward to, guys, yeah? We've just uh, we just looked at the queue times for the mazes, and do all Die has a 75 minute queue. Creek Creek has the shortest at 35. But we're gonna just jump in the queue because I think they're over exaggerating quite a bit, don't you? Well, we won't know. Until well, we won't know until we do it. Right, guys, so no filming on the front mazes. So I'll get some off ride shots for you and then we'll give you a non spoiler review when we get off. So see you in a bit. So we've just come off of Walking Dead, Do or Die, after about a 40 minute wait. Do or Die. Um, yeah, I thought it was alright. It would have been better in the dark. Yeah. Like, you could see what was coming, sort of thing. But the acting was really Brave good. Some of you, it's most and uh, some of the, the cringy American accents. It's coming up to about half four now, is it? What's time? 
It's nearly five o'clock actually now. Um, we're going over to the screen plex. And we just caught the video. Back in there. What are you filming, Mr. Haas? <laughs> Some of the vampires from the Admitty High. Um, we're going over to the screen plex. And wow, they want to be in the video. We're going over to the screen plex now to watch one of the films at every hour. Uh, it's running where Angry Birds runs normally, and it's uh, it's a selection. <laughs> it was a selection of horror films. I literally couldn't see them at first because I had the sun in my eyes. Um, the sun in my eyes. But yeah, we're gonna see what that's like, and then we're probably gonna do some more writing, more scale How long is this film? I don't know. An hour? Please. Uh, short films, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Coming up into the. Uh, centre of the park now, it's coming up into the golden hour where the sun is just starting to crest the horizon and look all pretty around the park. Uh, hopefully these short films are good. You won't like them. Just came out of the screenplay, what did you think of that though? What did you think? I thought that the second one, Suck of Blood, was very good. Anyway, we're going on Nemesis now. It's got about a 15, 20 minute queue, and then we're going to be going on to Freak Creek after this. Got about four more mazes to do before we move on to um, any more rides, but we're going to save some of the coasters for night time. So, probably about a 15 minute queue in this, and uh, then we'll look at going on Freak Creek. So we have just come off of Nemesis after, after an hour and a half. An, no, an hour. An hour and a half. We've literally, we literally just got evac'd off of Nemesis. Went down our circuit. The restraints weren't released. Then they had to partially dispatch it again, and uh, basically ended up with us on the chain, on the chain, uh, waiting to be evac'd for about an hour. And uh, we got fast tracks, but we can't use them on any of the fast, uh, on any of the mazes. So it's really dark now. But that was an experience. It's cold. Uh, we got we got free drinks. We got find a place to redeem them. I don't know. You could ask. And uh, then we're going to either go on platform 15 or Creek, uh, Freak Creek Sawmill, depending on uh, what's, what the queues are like, because they're both in this area. We've moved over to the Colossus Hot Dog Stop because we've got three hot dog vouchers and a fast track, so we're going to redeem that. Right, so we've got our free drinks, which they didn't know how to redeem, did they? Um, but we got a free drink each, and uh, we're going over towards platform 15. Now it's got a half hour queue, and then after that, we're going to do Freak Creek, and then we're probably going to go get dinner. And if we get time, we'll uh, jump in a queue for um, Blair Witch, I think. I don't know whether we're going to get time to do one of the uh, Living Dead. Alright, so it's time Creek Freak Massacre. We're getting in the queue for this one, it's got a 70 minute queue apparently. Going over the old Logger's Leap ride, which is still intact over here, so it'll be interesting to see the, uh, yeah. the queue. So can't really see a lot, but obviously this was the old original queue for Logger's Leap when it was in use. Very nice. We're going on platform 15 first. Yeah. So here is the old original Logger's Leap, looking in a bit of disrepair. It's got some uh, greenery growing on it. Louise, did you ever get to ride this? Louise never rode Locker's Leap. Did you ride Locker's Leap? Yeah, yeah Louise, you're fun. missing out. This was a brilliant log flume. My family never took me to Main Park, so it's just my dad. Apart from having uh, quite slow operations on that one, Freak Creek Massacre, what did you think? Oh, it was scary. It was scary, but it, it was... It reminded me of Tully's, it's very similar like, to the, the level. Chop shop, the chop shop, yeah, the, the one level with the chainsaws. Of maze. Good theming, good actors. I really like the last bit with the like flashing lights. Oh, yeah, anything. the yeah, jump scares were really good. good. I could hear the chainsaw, I couldn't see it, and then it was behind us. <laughs> I was holding on to Lewis for like dear life. Uh, that was a really good maze. If you're here and you get to do one maze, so far that's really good. To be honest, uh, we're, we're not going to get all the mazes done at this rate because of the time. It is near, it's gone 8 o'clock now. So we, we got a fast track which we're going to use on Saw. We can't use it on the mazes unfortunately. We're going to go on Saw. 
Uh, we've just got a 40 minute queue with fast track yeah, and then we're going to get something. Have to. It's like a Halloween. Then we're going to get something to eat and then we're probably going to go um, on another one of the mazes, probably Platform 15 or Blair Witch. I'd like to get both of them done before we go, but I don't know. I don't think we'll both get uh, Unless living... it like really quiet, quiet down. Well, it did like absolutely down. hammer it down in the queues a minute ago, but we're just coming past Living Nightmare now. That's got a 55 minute queue, but I think that's the one we're least looking to go on. If we get time, we will. Park shuts at 10 as long as we're in a queue by 10, we should be all right. To address some uh, questions about the separation in that one, they do separate you from the group in at the beginning. Yeah. They take a couple of people that go down a chute, and towards the end, they choose between good wood and bad wood, and they send you down. But the separation's last bend, 30 seconds if that. Uh, uh, 10 and, seconds. And you go back into yeah. the same ground. Unless you're literally petrified, they're not that bad to be honest. We've got separated, and me and Louise went down the other one. Yeah, the, the, the man swapped me and Louise were holding hands, and he was like, me, and then wouldn't let Louise through, so she just grabbed hold of Louise. But yeah, really good maze. It's, that was, I'd probably say it was worth the wait. Like, I'm not too fussed about waiting 70 yeah. minutes for that one. We did end up waiting the 70 minutes because it slowed right down. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get another couple of mazes done. Uh, I want to get Platform 15 and Blair Witch done, but that will depend on the queues. We, like I said, we'll do Saw, have dinner, and then we'll do another maze, and maybe one more if we get a chance. Uh, sadly, Living Nightmare, which is just behind the slammer over here, I don't think we're going to get time to do. Alright, so, uh, just coming over to Saw. And I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest, because Saw could use with some lighting on that hill. You know, just one light shining up the hill would be lovely, but you can't really see a lot. Anyway, we've got fast track for this, so we're going to use it. Um, you know, save us. This will probably be one of the last rides we've got on, I think. And then it'll be scare mazes. Here we go. We've got some body bags. These ones aren't blowing around as much. Alright, so we're straight through into the building. Probably a few minute wait, depends how long it's queuing up at the top, but that's quite past a long queue. Lou, are you excited to do this one in the dark? come off of Saw the Ride, quick five minute wait with the fast track there. Yeah, Lewis well like used. bruised my knuckle. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got morale going up now because we got a couple of rides in, we okay. had a good scare maze. We're going to go get some dinner at KFC now and then uh, hopefully get on two of the mazes. I want to do Blair Witch and I want to do Platform 15. Platform 15. What's the Pla theme? Platform 15 is about a train crash and you're like exploring it. I think and that one is the old train. Yeah, the old, the old ride basically. Oh, um, I think that's the one we're going to aim for. I think and then we should do that. And then if we've got enough time, do Blair Witch. Blair Witch is in, an, in a, wood, a wooded part outdoor, part indoor, but that's one I would like to do. Where is that place? Anyway, we're just going past Colossus now. That was a good ride on uh, Saw there. Yeah. Oh my god, Lewis, you, you look. I literally was, was on the outside, Louise was, was on the inside. Quite a smooth ride given the fact it's uh, <laughs> been running all day. Normally that one's really rough. I just think it's, it's different depending on what time of day you ride it. Weather. Oh god, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's truly dark now. We're, I'm probably going to say that's probably the last ride we're going to go on. Well, um, it's, it's saddening. I want yeah, to push stealth. Well, we'll see how time goes because at the end of the day, the mazes aren't here all year. The rides are. Like, we can night ride later on in the year or we'll come back again. But obviously, I want to get the mazes done for the vlog because I haven't done them before. So. We're just coming up past Do or Die again now, which I thought this die. I thought this one was quite tame. Yeah. I imagine it would be better now it's darker. I thought it was very tame. I don't think I'd do that again. But uh, yeah, Creek Freak, that was brilliant. I love that one. Like, if you've been to Chesterton, Creepy Caves is definitely better than that. Oh yeah. Still, they're very put, well put together and have good actors in them. Yeah. Um, yeah, the lighting in the park is a little bit disappointing compared to Chesterton. Yeah. There's a lot more dark spots, but as you can see, the lights of Stealth is lit up. But I think Stealth is only lit up because it's viewable from the outside of the park. It's like a landmark. Um, so that's got proper lighting sure. on it. Is it not always lit up? Yeah, it is always yeah. lit up at night when you go past it. 
Um, but yeah, having a good time. Crowds are quite acceptable. The rain stopped. Hopefully after we've eaten, that means the crowds have died off a bit. Um, fingers and uh, we'll go get some more scare mazes in. KFC is calling. One of the only Merlin parks that has a KFC. All of them are just chicken place now. three pound for a mini Oh, good old Colonel. Good chicken. Gonna eat this. Uh, probably be out here by about nine and then hopefully get two mazes done. We'll see. Platform 15 first though. Lewis is still over there ordering. Alright, we've just had dinner. Rating? Oh, I've just tried the biggest puddle ever. <laughs> I've, I've had it was it yes. was quite greasy and it wasn't a busy time so nah the Fanta Car Twisted Carnival is shut sadly that's sad I wanted to call it and I tried to google it and find out but like no one's been on it uh, it looks like outside like there's obvious for tablets it says underneath it book now oh, okay so it looks like you're gonna have to like it looks like you're gonna have to like book yourself onto it there's uh, no queue lines, so you obviously got to maybe come back. It might be a bit like containment. Right, anyway, we're going over to platform 15 now, so we'll see you when we get to the queue line for it. Oh. for this one. 25 minute queue on Blair Witch, so as we walk past it later, we'll see if it's dying off a bit. But we're heading back down to Old Town, or Canada Creek as I'll always call it. And uh, this is this area sees so much traffic during Fright Nights, but no no other time of year. I do find it funny as well because there's like all these kiddie rides. You've got the Rocky Express, you've got Lumberjack Ride, and uh, the Swing Tug, and then just these two horror mazes right next to each other. It's quite the contrast. But normally no one ever goes there. I know, like normally this walk is quite, it's like a normal amount of people along here. But then, if you go over the railroad, it just goes dead. Right, so here we are at the old Fort Park um, train station, which went up to the farm. And uh, now it's uh, closed off, but it's used as platform 15. So let's get in the queue for this one. It's the one on the left, Lewis. 20 minute queue for this one, so it's starting to quieten down massively. So when we, got, when we were looking at going on this earlier, this was literally queuing right out to the entrance and now it's totally died off. Uh, so hopefully it should mean about a 10-15 minute wait if it's advertising 20. Um, got some theming from uh, Old Octopus Gardens there. And the maze is just on the other side of this fence. It's exciting. Let's go. Right, guys, like with all the mazes here, gonna have to leave you here. We'll give you our feedback when we get off of Platform 15. There's a step there. You've just come off of Platform 15. What did you think of that? I scary. My actual fingers hurt. I actually, I actually really enjoyed that. That was a good maze. Good yeah, level of scare. Some good scare factor, but wasn't too intense because it wasn't enclosed. The tunnel was yeah. really good. Well, it was good for if you have like. There's some bits that's good if you have like claustrophobia. I think oh. it's got a wide bit. Do you, one bit that you, you, you know the um, the tunnel. I thought the actors in the tunnel were brilliant. Yeah. How they snuck up on people. Like they told you so to. Dark. They told you to link up with the person in front, and uh, <coughs> I, your way, I, don't you? I detached from the person in front, and then one of the actors got in in front of me and scared the hell out of this guy behind me. Yeah, uh, in front of me, sorry. It was, it was me. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're, we're going to have a look at Blair Witch, but it's currently uh, showing it's delayed, so we might not be able to get on it. We're going to do stealth and come Please back to it. Please get me in it! Please get me in it! <laughs> vlog bombers. First vlog bomb, love the do, do you know what though? They didn't say vlogging! That's um, the worst thing. I hate when people say like, stating the bloody obvious. So yeah, um, stealth is running a 10 minute queue, and Blair Witch, I hope it's open, but we'll soon find out. Mm. As long as we get in the queue before 10 o'clock, we should be good. So they've actually shut the queue for this one at the moment. That's because it's nearly 10. No, it's just, it's just that one. Hopefully, um, it'll reopen after still failing that. We'll probably just do Living Nightmare, won't we? Because that's yeah. that way. Um, but yeah, it's got much better. And I'm enjoying tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of wish we could come back again before it's like end the of season. The most scream story of the whole day is coming from the banana bun. Everyone goes. Like, scream if you want to go higher. It's like it's on a set program, but okay. <laughs> so still for 10 minute queue. Hopefully we get on this. Like I say, it's not the end of the world if we don't get in Blair Witch, but we will do Living Nightmare. Hopefully this is basically walk on, and uh, yeah, be first night ride on this and Louise's first ever I'm ride on this. On oh, Louise isn't going on it. I'm gonna watch you. I'm gonna watch you. Come on, Libby. Oh, no. It's fun. It's in the dark. <laughs> Time for stealth. <laughs> Louise has been 
persuaded. Do it for the vlog, baby. I think getting a, a present from Luke from the shop. Oh, at Devon, yeah, definitely. When we're out in the Devon, from the shop. Um, yeah, this is the great 2006 Intimate Accelerator, mini version of Red Force and the car. Um, I do like it, but obviously Red Force is better, in my opinion, because I like the linear induction launch rather than this one. I actually looked this up. The hydraulic system did actually get upgraded. I'm not sure what year it got upgraded in. Oh, okay. Um, that's why there's hardly any rollbacks. And that's why it's actually slightly quicker than what it advertises on the site. Oh, the excited list. Right, guys, we'll see you when we get off the stealth. No, we won't. We'll be doing a horror maze after this and then going. Right, guys, as you can see, it's literally walked straight out to the station. I'm going to put you away because it's starting to rain, and we'll see you when we get off the ride. We have bad news. We got to the front just before the gate. So, Louise, what happened? Stealth has ceased operation due to restraint failure. Um, which is a shame because Louise was going to go on it. And I will never go on it again. Oh. One opportunity. Uh, anyway, it, it, it will take uh, engineering and management about 10 minutes to get to the ride, and then they've got to work out what's wrong with it. And then so release it. And we, we just failed the queue immediately, didn't we? And then obviously they'll have to ride it again, send it down empty, then, yeah. then get us. some vlog bombers. <laughs> anyway, we're going over to Blair Witch Project now, and. Uh, Depending on whether that one's back open, then we go on um, Living Nightmare. It's a bit of a shame because I was looking forward to it. Oh, it's, it's a shame, but it's getting to the end of the evening. It's about half nine now, so uh, we'll see you over at Blair Witch. Yeah. Fast tracks have been selling well. They're sold out of the Telefoot Terrifying Trio. Anyway, we're back over to Blair Witch now, and Blair Witch is running, so we're getting the queue for this one. Uh, uh, Freak Creek Massacre has gone down and we were just asking what that could mean. That could mean anything from like uh, someone having a panic attack, uh, drunk or you know someone, wow the queue has just vanished. This is going to be walk on, Lewis might be able to get on Living Nightmare. That's just down the way. We'll see how long this one takes guys, we'll give you a review when we get off. While this is running the uh, jungle escape, escape rooms are shut. We would have thought they'd use them, but no. They might be using them for the maze. Right, we just come off of Blair Witch, and uh, to be honest, personally, I didn't find that that scary. There were a few no, decent I, jumps in there. Do you know what was just on my mind? Go on. Luke, you tell them. What was on your mind? What was I moaning about the whole time? Oh, the, the terrain was boggy. And I've got white... Oh, yeah, Louise is wearing her white sketches, so they're a bit mucky now. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, quite glad I didn't queue too long for that one. I got the impression some of the actors have gone home in that one. It was a bit void in areas, yeah, uh, and it kind of lacked a bit of story. And also, they didn't direct you in that one. No, so the people say, were walking around from other groups randomly. It, li it literally lacked story, which, I'm, like I say, we waited about five minutes for it, so I'm glad we didn't wait the 85 minutes they had advertised earlier. Anyway. The bit at the end was quite scary. Got yeah, the bit, bit in the building was good. It was very smoky. Um, very strawberry, a lot of people jumping out of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, we, we, we actually have got time to do the final maze now, which is Living Nightmare. And that'll be the fifth And that'll be maze. the fifth and final maze. And we did the cinema experience. Yeah, so we basically we've done did everything. everything. Well, we didn't do containment. And also, but that's we an upcharge. didn't do any dark rides, but we tried. Uh, we haven't got on the most amount of attraction uh, rides today, yeah. but the whole point of coming here today for me the was the scare maze. We're not going to Tully's. We did Tully's last year, and Tully's is amazing. Oh. Oh yeah, but that's that's. They just don't have the thought park attractions. So well, this the, is like perfect mix. The thing is, Tully's is just done for Halloween. This is like but all. Don't you think Tully's is amazing? Oh, Tully's is amazing. It's expensive, but well worth yeah. it if you want to do something scary. Anyway, we'll see you over at the Living Nightmare. And it's time to go. As you can see, with five minutes to park close, it's really dying off now, like the area. This is the main area with three scare mazes very close together. You've got Freak Creek right in front of us, Platform 15, and uh, Living Nightmare. I keep going, we couldn't live in dead all evening over here. Right. So with five minutes left, well, five minutes left and five minute queue, yeah. it's Living Nightmare. Let's get on this one. Do you know what? The evening started off a bit bad with the breakdown on Nemesis, but we've managed to get on every single horror maze here, which I'm really happy we have done. Literally no queue for this one. We were waiting 75 minutes. Oh yeah, this one doesn't get too great reviews. It's one of the worst, which is only left to last. Let's get on this and we'll see you when we get off. We have just come off of our fifth and final maze. 
Um, what did you rate that one? I thought that, one, quite that was quite good. That was the one that was like least hype, and it was it was so good. I thought it's been quiet all night. That one, isn't it? About 15, and, 20 minutes here. Like there was so many actors in there, and th there was theming, there were scenes, there was like differently dressed people. It wasn't just all all zombies or whatever. There was like patients. Oh yeah. Masks, people. And you got a bit of spill before you went in. Yeah, didn't you? it was good. It yeah, was you really can hear good. the chainsaws coming outside now. Yeah. Right, so it's uh, it's now five past ten. So gate. Uh, park is now closed. Um, I've had a really good day. It's been yeah. brilliant. Like oh, we've been we've been in park for about nine and a half hours. Yeah, and feeling it now. Yeah, bit. feeling it now. Um, me and Louise are off to Portland Park tomorrow for a different kind of scare. Yeah, that's that's more family friendly. This cut through here. I'm at work. And Louise is at work. Of course, me and Louise are off to Devon now uh, on a family holiday. We'll get to Portland Park. We'll get to a couple of the other parks yeah, around that area. Fun. They're smaller. They won't be as scary. We had to get our scares in before. Oh yeah, like me and Louise and, and Lewis have never done this before. So it's nice to get here and actually do it. leave the vlog here thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it. it's been a little bit different i don't know whether you know because obviously we couldn't film any of the mazes a bit, a bit different i hope there's enough footage and i hope you've enjoyed it do leave your uh, comments and feedback down below don't forget to smash that like button follow us on the instagram at world of coasters yeah and we'll see you in the next vlog bye, bye. bye.